Hello everyone. Myself, I am Uma, and I have overall eight plus years of IT experience as a data analyst and four years of experience as a corporate trainer. I am a Microsoft certified data analyst and a corporate trainer, and currently working at Microsoft. In today's session, we will be learning uh, some new update, one of the new and interesting update of uh, Microsoft Power BI. So before getting into the update, let me ask you some use case. OK, first I'll go here and I'll select some theme here for this page and I am selecting one simple column chart. OK, this is my simple column chart. My simple column chart where I have already loaded my data set here and I'll show you the data. This is my orders table. It's basically e-commerce data where we have some information uh, related to the products, the shipping modes, shipping dates, order dates, and also the customer information from which location and um, what type of product, the category, subcategory, the sales and sales quantity and discount profit. All this information, basically e-commerce related data set I have, and I have already loaded my data and I have selected that theme. And now I have taken one simple column chart. Let me add my category here in x axis and in y axis i am seeing the sales okay category by sales let me turn on the data label as well so in this visual i am seeing the category wise sales okay if i want to see the region wise sales what you will do you will just take one more visual and here instead of category you will take region Right, you will go with the region and you will see the region wise sales data. If I ask you segment wise sales again, you will do the same procedure. You will take, you will copy this visual. Now, instead of region, you will take the segment, segment wise sales. Right, it means the sales is common in all the visual, but only the x axis is changing. Like, Take here category, the x axis is category, here the x axis is region, and here the x axis is segment. Now, using one concept called field parameter, I can make this everything into a single visual. Okay, single visual, and I can give some dynamic slicer where the user will have the flexibility to select what kind of column he wants in the x axis. OK, let's get quickly started with the field parameter concept, which is a recent update of Microsoft Power BI. So how can we achieve this field parameter? Now go to this modeling tab. In this modeling tab, let me take one more page here. I will show you the. Visual created through field parameter. Now under modeling, you can go to new parameter in this new parameter. Select the fields. Under these fields, it you have some adjustability whether you want to go with the numeric range or fields. I want to go with this fields option. So I'm selecting the fields and you can give any name here. I'm just giving. Any name you can give. So I'm giving this field parameter. And then here you can add what are the fields you want to add uh, dynamically in the visual? You can select those fields here. Those fields are nothing but those columns. So I want to see category wise sales. I also want to see. Region wise sales. I also wanted to see segment wise sales. I also want to see ship mode wise sales and subcategory wise sales. So all this I wanted to see in a single visual one at a time. OK. And here you have an option add slicer to this page. You try to check this so that automatically one slicer also will be created through which you can dynamically change the values in the visual. OK, so select this create. Select this create. If you see here on the field session, it is automatically created. Whatever I have selected the field parameter, it has created here. It is created here now. This uh, slicer, I will make some changes to this slicer. In slicer settings, I can go and uh, select whatever the option I want. I will select this as a tile. 
and also I will make some changes here. The values or in the background, I'll give some color instead of black because the theme is also black. So I'll go with some. Some color I will select from here. OK, let me select this color and now I'll take the visual. The same thing here, which we are trying to uh, show that in different visuals, right? I'll try to show in the same visual. Just I'm taking one simple column chart and now whatever the field parameter which I have created, I am drag and dropping this to X axis. And the sales value I'm drag and dropping to Y axis. OK, I'm just adjusting my visual here. Now I will turn on the data labels as well. So this is my field parameter. Now. If I want to see. Furnish uh, category wise sales, I'm I, I'm able to see here, right? This is my category wise sales. I'm able to see my category wise sales. If I want to see region wise sales, I can see this region wise sales. If I want to see segment wise sales, I can select this one. I can see the segment wise sales. If I want to see ship mode wise sales, I can click on the ship mode. I can see here ship mode wise sales. If I select subcategory, I'm able to see the subcategory wise sales in a single visual. That is a single column chart I have taken and I'm just selecting the. Columns, if I'm selecting the columns automatically. The X axis is changing based on the columns which I am selecting. So this is called as a. Field parameter, OK, this field parameter slicer, the slicer which I'm using here, it's not a normal slicer. It's a field parameter slicer, which is helpful to interact dynamically with the visuals. Since this is a recent update of uh, Microsoft Power BI, not everyone will be. Uh, having this feature enabled to enable this feature in your power bi desktop just to go to file and options and settings options under this options you can see something called preview features under this preview features make sure you have checked this field parameter okay it will be unchecked for you if you have not updated your power bi desktop so you can select this one check this option and then this will be enabled for you so using this interactively, you can change in a single visual the axis. You can change dynamically using this field parameter slicer. Thanks for watching this and for more informative videos, please do like, share and subscribe to KSR Data Vision YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you for watching our videos. Please like, share and subscribe our video channel. Uh, it will motivate me and so that I can able to motivate more people who want to enter their transform their career into IT. Thank you guys.